happened there was people knew Y was very good, but because Y didn't have any results, they couldn't justifiably seed him very mm -hmm. high. And then what happened is Y tore through losers, like winning five sets in a row against some of the best players in the game. What they all kept saying about him is just that they hadn't seen Arano move this fast and yet be so thoughtful at the same time. It, and, it is neutral decisions. Yes, yes. yes. Why, why is regarded as being the strong neutral frog of the of the Ranos fighting for that top spot? It reminds me of something that Daigo said about the way that he thinks about player speed when it comes to fighting games, which is it's not actions per second, it's decisions per second. Absolutely. And you look at the pace of play that Y brings to the table, and you can actually feel the amount of thought he's putting into so many mm -hmm. aspects of his gameplay. But the problem is, oh. when you're up against Penguin, he will just take a single moment to kill you off of it and is also so historically thoughtful about what he does and the options he's covering. Why was so scared of that up air that he died off the side? <laughs> to, I mean, to, just nothing. <laughs> to not die in that situation requires such perfect DI because mm -hmm. what makes it challenging is it's not that DI to avoid to travel as little distance as possible. It's DI so that you're too far to get followed up on but don't fall off the side of the blast. Yes. But meanwhile, Penguin getting edge guarded there, it looked like a little bit oh, of mis- Oh, this punish! That was, I love that platform movement. It gets all, anytime you just slightly mix up that pacing, it's just deadly. Mm -hmm. I love that, being able to catch the air dodge. I Good. like the, the charge needles to get over, the charge darts to get over the thunder line. I, I do like also what it looks like Y is doing, especially with these poison stacks, right, is once you get a stack on Absa, the thing is, oh, her catches the dive. Her movement is really good, um, but the thing is, is her movement also counts as attacks, right? She, she takes one percent for the poison <laughs> every single time that happens. If she cloud hops or she quick attacks, those are all poison ticks. Oh, just manages to fall past the thunder line. Yeah, why just holding? Which is, it's so, it's so scary to do that too. Oh, then just finding the perfect moment to punish the falling there, right? That was yep. a landing lag. Only at six percent. Okay, he's now taking more, but like this was very close up until I started talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honestly, fifty-five. You you thank your stars that penguin did not just kill you right away. Mm -hmm. In a way, your life expectancy kind of goes up the higher, like past a certain percent. <gasps> Meanwhile, they're Just like bullying off stage does land. This is scary. We're getting to that same percent that uh, Penguin was to die to that falling up air up strong. Oh, uh, why looking for something off that back air that sour hit? And it looks like Penguin's aware of it. Oh, <gasps> just just gets out of it. Yeah, gets to the forward tilt out. Forces Y off of him. Rough angle. Yeah, just put up, put up the class, put up the class. <gasps> oh, it misses. Pulls, gets the back air is gonna kill Y taking the first game. Penguin had like three things there that oh, were there it is. pixels away from hitting. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that specific Nair drag down to Upstrong, that is a specific track that mm -hmm. Penguin will bring out against people who aren't ready to, to tech. And not only was White ready to tech, he specifically chose the tech option with the most frames of invincibility. Because Upstrong is active for a while, too. Yep. Uh, usually, you want to do tech in place because it's the one where you can be active yourself fastest. Yes. But well, no, no, you want to miss tech if you want to be active the fastest, but tech in place gets you invincibility. Well, while being yes, active it's, it's the, yeah. yes, it's the fastest one with invincibility. Yeah. But didn't so that you could have a little bit more mm -hmm. and get away from the entire hitbox. <laughs> We're going to be getting Jules Veil. This is a huge parry to start out. Normally, oh. that's not a big deal, but the fact that Penguin is already off stage has taken 36%. Weird trade, though. Oh, Penguin getting it going, and you are dancing between the Penguin and the Thunderline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? Oh, does he actually get put into his bubble? That's one of those insurance policies that Rano's like relying on. And yep, gonna just die off the top there. We even had the cloud being sent too, in case it wasn't quite enough to kill Y. Yeah, Penguin will always cover that option. Mm -hmm. But like, the one thing I love about Penguin's play is he always plays as if the opponent survived, right? Yes. Like, he's yep, yep, already yep. setting up just in case of that, and if they happen to die, then, then great, it's time for the next dog. Yep. But I, but he's not willing to drop something because he thought it would kill. Yeah. Even if the percentages would say so, Nair doesn't really need anything there. <gasps> Gets the up strong straight through. Not yet. The, the DAC is in order to just run right past the cloud. And the thing is, like, we saw that cloud pop. That's what Penguin was hoping to catch. So but punishing that way is actually really cool. It's better than attempting to parry it. 
I mean, the deck is low profile, but it does not matter. Penguin <laughs> answers right back. Still has a very strong stock lead. Is off stage as I say Why? that? Why? Why would you go for that? <laughs> okay, honestly, the fact that you're only at 40% is huge. Mm -hmm. Only taking 40% for giving Penguin a free edge guard is insane. Why giving up stage? Just not oh. wanting to engage with the double jump cloud. I love the the bait by wave dash between, or wave mining up into the platform. Penguin is looking pretty comfortable hanging around Y's airspace too. Sometimes stalling to wait for a parry. Sometimes running in with a, uh, floating in with a kick. Ooh, the kick actually beating out the needle there. I think mean, it's like we were saying uh, at, a, at a top level, parry stops being a good option, and your your defense is good movement. Mm, yeah. It, like, if you're trying to pick up rivals, uh, every time you want to shield, uh, you wave dash back. Honestly, yeah. Later, you're going to want to mix it up, but that is a fantastic start, because a lot of people pick up rough parry habits. Ooh! <laughs> that Thunderline attempt was pretty cheeky, and I think Y just kind of recognized the startup for the uh, Cloud Toss there. Because it's been, like, two or three times now. Mm -hmm. has, has gone under the Cloud Toss with either a Dacus or just the run-up up smash. Oh, double jumps clears that whole situation, but Penguin was ready with the uh, F till two mm -hmm. to lightning bolt and keep up the pressure. Very comfortable second game for yeah. uh, Penguin. And this is kind of the uh, the experience I have commentating for Penguin a lot, is that game one is oh, his... Oh, it's Oh, adorable. <laughs> oh, I'm making sure the chat can see. Let's go wide. <laughs> um, Penguin, if you want to take a set off of him, you need to win game one. Not just because you need to win every game to take the set, but because game one is Penguin getting his read on you, and then the machine starts whirring up, and it gets deadlier and deadlier every next game. Yeah. I have I have seen Penguin lose game one as like a two-stock or a three-stock, and then just like three-stock the opponent right back mm -hmm. in the next game. Well, Penguin's one of those players where every single game becomes more difficult. Yes. And so you take game one, ooh, game two might be really close. Oh, game three, you might be getting two stocks. Game right. four, just say your prayers. Yeah, and if you lost game one, then like you're kind of that's it because game yes. two and three are coming right afterwards. I think Y can definitely do it as long as Y keeps making these adaptations. But uh, it, Penguin will just adapt right back and usually faster than his opponent. Mm -hmm. That is how you are number two in the game. It's this this stage pick of Rockwall is it's always scary for me to see players take Penguin here. And exactly. For, for that, that reason. Yeah, for I know. that reason. It, it has the, the side blast zones are very close to the edges of this stage. So even though it's like a long distance from the exact center, in practice it's actually like you get escorted off of the wall very often. Mm -hmm. Which like Rano can absolutely make use of that too, but uh, Penguin on top of the Kicks also has a fantastic ground game, and this gives him so much ground to work with as a player. He's missed a few of those up tilts. Why is he doing a great job at the ambiguous DI to get around it? Mm -hmm. I like that. Force the Thunderline pops so that you can try to punish. It does find himself off stage. Tries to stall Gross. a little bit. Beautiful placement of the bubble, though, to it, not die, but gets caught right afterwards with the up air. It literally doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Why did some phenomenal work and Penguin just kept going? The onion always has another layer. That's what I've learned about watching Penguin. Mm -hmm. They all make you cry. Like, you just keep peeling on back. Yeah, Penguin is the pinball wizard. Okay, just gets caught. So many of these kills have not even been from combos into up strong, but have been why doing movement callouts. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that was so close! Yeah, just barely out of range with that back roll. Penguin spaced immaculately. All right. And this is one thing that I'm noticing about how Y is dealing with the edge guard situation is we're seeing him back off in response to the double jump cloud. But I think one of the things that has brought people a lot of success against Penguin is occasionally taking proactive measures when they see that happening, yeah. right? Like going out and hitting Penguin with something or being ready to parry the cloud, like threaten something because this could be huge. This could be huge. This is last stock. This is exactly what Y needs to get something going. Oh, gets it spacing out for that quick attack. Oh, that almost turned around on Y. That's a situation that people are afraid of when it comes to pushing their luck there and Penguin getting the up strong on the tech, being able to close out that second game. I mean, games two and three against Penguin, like we were saying. This That was not as strong as I was expecting, though. Yeah, Why is true. making some huge changes in order to make that happen? And, like, we do know Y is capable of making game five, uh, like, reverse 3-0 comebacks. Like, Absolutely. I remember him against Audi at Riptide. Audi was, like, up 2-0, mm -hmm. and then... Why, why won the next three games back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. So mm -hmm. 
uh, I know not to count Y out just because he's down on the board. No. You cannot, there's not a player in this top eight that could not make that Rivers 3 out. Mm -hmm. Having ourselves a forest floor as the counter pick, very short ceiling stage, more space on the side blast zones. I mean, this is what you're saying. Ooh, I died a lot off the side to rock wall. Time to <laughs> not do that. And when you are getting almost all of your kills with up strong. Yes. Yes. I, I believe that's kind of the thought exactly. process, right? Exactly like, right this there. Is, this is how I'm getting my mileage, like especially in terms of neutral, right? Calling out of an attack with a Dacus as a response and yep. then being able to close things out. This just makes that window that much uh, easier to reach for why. Yep. Rolling through the tongue and getting a punish of his own, but the back air frame three just coming out strong. Yep. No, and, and Penguin has been getting some kills off the top with uh, up strong and up air, but not as many as off the side. Mm -hmm. As I say that though, Penguin's definitely trying to set up for him. Yeah, why is just still backing off in these edge guards? Mm -hmm. Doesn't I mean, especially because he has the lead and that was so ambiguous. That was so dirty. Does it again? This is exactly why you go to Forest Floor. Why this is such a smart stage pick. This is I mean, he's still on his first stock. This is mm -hmm. This is the biggest lead I believe Y has had against Penguin. Penguin sitting at 32. Why is over a hundred? Mm -hmm. A lot will start killing at this point. Including no doesn't doesn't get a follow-up great DI on that down air. That's one of the tricky things for Absa. She can actually have a hard time killing off the of parries in a lot of situations. That forward kick is uh <laughs> That lightning kick's gonna take that first stock, but why is in such a fantastic position? It's gonna take a, an immaculate stock for Penguin to be in any range of comfort. Especially you get that. Oh, only? That was usually you see way more off the bubble, but it was just in a really awkward position up there. Mm -hmm. Sniping out that double jump. Okay. Catches just a, a straight mm -hmm. up air, but like we see that 78% from Penguin. This is now Dacus territory. I love the, the the use of these needles to, as a response for the double jump cloud, right? Because mm -hmm. like not only do you force the cloud to be released far before it hits you, but now you've much more done a lot to limit Penguin's movement on his way that, back to okay, the stage. There's been two or three of those now where Y will get that tongue to call out the fact that Penguin is putting a cloud out. He'll jump over it and then use it. There we go. That is going to a game five. The power of the Pac-Man! <laughs> it's absolutely the power of the Pac-Man. <laughs> We're to game five again against Penguin. Mm -hmm. So here's here's the backstory between these two players, right? They played once online in, in RCS, uh, and why won that set online? Yes. But then they played more recently at Double Down, and Penguin won that one. So yeah. if you include both sets, it's 1-1, one, one, but uh, Penguin with that slight advantage in terms of like temporal yeah. relativity. And it sounds like they're still going just as even now. And I think you always, online is important, but you do always have to give a little bit of the edge to land. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, why takes this? This is a huge thing. Yeah. Like, hey, it was not just online. I'm just that good. <laughs> You've got to put respect on my name, which would be exactly what we saw at that Genesis. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've only played online, but I know I can do it. Especially because, like, of all the, the characters, Rano is, like, one of the most hotly contested wants to be the best in the game at, right? But we have Penguin taking the first stock at only 12%. This is such a good start for him at the beginning of this Game 5. I, I think there are very few things scarier than Game 5 Penguin. Mm -hmm. And the only one is like Game 5 Cake. <laughs> loser's Cake. Yeah. I mean, we, we have not seen Loser's Cake in a very long time. It's actually, unfortunately, we've only seen one set of Loser's Cake. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Penguin just waits a little bit longer. And this it... intimidating movement of Jet Dash through is like against Y. Like Penguin is looking so confident that Y is waiting. It's not just Dash through, but it's Dash through wait. Yeah. Sometimes it's wait, and then also sometimes it's just like a dash attack. Get some nice charge on it, but it's not enough. I... Penguin's ready to live. This one's gonna do it down strong for good measure too. Mm -hmm. Down strong you don't see quite as often, but it is. It's very strong, very high knockback, but it's a little bit slower, and it doesn't have that crazy high timer. Mm -hmm. Why just getting a little bit of needle charge? 
Rough. Okay. New lease on life. Wise been crouching under a lot of those clouds, just assuming like he's either gonna pop it or it's gonna be thunder, and I'm gonna low profile either way. The thing that's scary to watch though is that like why is giving up stage to Penguin pretty often in neutral, right? Like slowly backing himself into a corner where it's just gonna be harder Good to deal cancel. with the option coverage. <gasps> just... The kick's yeah. gonna do it. But at 77%, this is actually very possible for Y to make this even. As we say that, Penguin might be getting that engine revving. Never mind. Okay. I can't, I just can't talk. Oh, beautiful. Still barely not going to do it, though. Wow, that back air movement. That was actually There's been nice. like three, and every yeah. time I'm just floored. You tries to, to call it out. Tries to call it out. Why might be fishing a little bit. Not much. That's... I thought that was going to be an up strong. Okay. I, I think Y recognized that Penguin was just slightly too high. This time, Dacus because some Penguin, ha Penguin has been quick attacking at a disadvantage a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think Y is starting to catch wind of that and starting to just throw out a hitbox a little bit early. If Y gets one good combo, this is 100% doable. It's, I mean, the thing that's so scary is like up air is absolutely a thing for Penguin. Like up tilt, up air, or just catching Y on those platforms for just a moment too long. Oh yeah, why could die in one interaction? The jab in order to beat out the tongue! Okay, Penguin. Penguin's like, I do not want you near me right now. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Just gonna go straight to the corner, uses up the early, still saves it's the double so jump to get jump back. out of the dive. No way, why gets back? And edge cancels too. Has control of the stage, tries to close the distance. <gasps> this is so hard for him to deal with. Sets up the bubble, but... Like, okay, why beautiful spacing. Why has to get through the bullet hell and gets a bubble for good measure? Yeah! Why? 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 Takes the set off of a yeah. single forward area in the corner of last zone. And that bubble setup, right? That was first insurance for Y in that edge situation, right? He was trying to set it up right behind him in case he got hit back, and then turning it around instead as his leverage to take oh. the set. That was a massive, massive win for Y there. We've said, we've said that Y has done this already online. Yeah. Saying I did it on land at a major in winner's semis is a whole new statement. That is so incredible for him. And this means we have Y now Why is in winner's, winner's finals. finals. Guaranteed top three. That is that is enormous. It's Why, why is so good. I, I do not want anybody to be like, oh, that's Y. <laughs> like, no, Y is so good. But there's a, there is a mystique mm -hmm. around Cake and Penguin usually. Yes. And why why is cracked it online? No one can say that why is not good enough now. Oh, yeah. no one can say no. <laughs> no one can be like, oh, it was online. There was lag. There was but <laughs> you did it on land. You did it. No one can take that away from you. It's what's so incredible to me as somebody who was there at Genesis Six and has mm -hmm. been seeing why come out to more and more offline events is what was his thorn at G Six was playing on stream. He lost, the two sets he lost were the two sets he played on yeah. stream. He won every other set. And, and if you were at yeah. G6, you knew why the, the difference in why playing off stream versus on wasn't just a like, oh, I'm playing better players. It was clearly nerves, a little bit yeah. of the spaghetti, playing a little bit more shaky. That was not shaky. That, yeah. was, that was fantastic play. And it was on such a bigger stage, right? Like mm -hmm. just being able to play this, this well against that level opponent with this many people watching, that's an incredible amount of like mental growth for a player. It is so, so awesome to see. And yeah. I mean, the results speak for themselves now. Why is sitting in winner's finals top three? He has to, he has to play the winner of this next set. And say, let, yeah. let, as long as we're talking about results, let's talk about <laughs> results. Peng or not Penguin.